Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving a system of equations in two variables. So, we have xy plus 24 equals x cubed over y, xy minus 6 is equal to y cubed over x. So one method that you could probably use is isolate the xy and set them equal to each other and try to get something from there. Or you could try cross multiplication and then go from there. Or the approach that I'd like to be using here is a little different. I'll multiply these two equations. So what happens when I do? I'll multiply xy plus 24 by xy minus 6. On the right hand side, I'll have this. Now when I simplify this, obviously here we don't want x to be 0 or y to be 0. When they're not 0, then we're good. We can just go ahead and simplify this x cubed divided by x becomes x squared and y takes out one of these y so that becomes y squared. So we get the following. If you distribute the left hand side you get x squared y squared minus 6xy plus 24xy minus 24 times 6 is 144 and on the right hand side you get x squared y squared which is really nice, right? So now x squared y squared cancels out, we end up with, if we add like terms, 18xy, and let's go ahead and put the 144 on the other side, and divide both sides by 18, right? Well, if you do that, you're going to get xy equals 8. Okay, now, I got the value of xy, so what I can do is, I can actually go ahead and substitute into both of these equations, right? And let's see what we get from there. So if you substitute xy equals 8 into the first equation, you should be getting 8 plus 24 here, and then here you should be getting 8 minus 6. And that gives you the following. x cubed over y is going to give you 8 plus 24, which is 32. And from the second one, 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. y cubed over x equals 2. Now, at this point, you can just go ahead and multiply these two, but that's only going to give you the same result that we got from here. In a different way, because x squared y squared is actually going to be, uh, you know, 64, that means xy could also be negative 8. But we just got positive 8 from here. So let's proceed with that one. So instead of multiplying these equations, why don't we just divide them, right? So what happens if I divide them? x cubed over y multiply by reciprocal of the second fraction, which is x over y cubed, is going to be 32 divided by 2, which is equal to 16. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this equation. I get x to the fourth divided by y to the fourth is equal to 16. And from here, if you square it both sides, we're going to be getting two solutions, obviously. So let's go ahead and write both of them. Uh, we can get x over y is equal to 2, or x over y is equal to negative 2. Okay. So this gives us two different solutions, obviously, along with x, y equals 8. So what I'd like to do next is take both of these equations with x, y equals 8, and then go to the solution from there. Now, the first equation here basically gives you that x is equal to 2y. And along with x, y equals 8, if you go ahead and, you know, replace x with 2y here, that's going to give you 2y squared is equal to 8. And that means that y squared is equal to 4, which means y can be positive 2 or negative 2. Now we also have that x equals 2y. This just means that x is equal to 4 or negative 4. So this kind of gives us two ordered pairs, which is 4 comma 2 and negative 4 comma negative 2. Okay. Now that's from the first equation that I got, and let's go ahead and use the second equation now, which is this one. Of course, I still have the x, y equals 8, but this time I have a different relationship. x equals negative 2y, and I can just go ahead and replace it here, replace x with negative 2y, and that's going to give you negative 2y squared. Negative 2y squared is equal to 8, which means y squared is equal to negative 4. Now, what is that supposed to mean? It just means that we don't have any real solutions, but we can just still proceed uh, with the solutions here, but they're not going to be real. 
So we get y equals 2i and we get negative 2i from here. And we knew that x is equal to negative 2y. So if you go ahead and multiply both of these solutions with negative 2, from here we get x equals negative 4i and from here we get x equals 4i. So this gives us another uh, two or another set of ordered pairs. I guess that will be negative 4i comma 2i and 4i comma negative 2i. Okay, so we got these real solutions here and we got these complex solutions here that are non-real. And if you put it all together and write our solution set to this equation, now here's one thing you may want to think about, like is this going to satisfy the original problem? For example, if I take, let's say, how about 4i, four, four comma negative 2i, right? 4i, comma negative 2i. Let's go ahead and test it out. 4i, comma negative 2i. If you go ahead and test it in one of the original equations, it doesn't really matter which one you use, but let's just go ahead and test the first one. Uh, x times y is going to be negative 8i I squared, which is positive 8. Again, that's good. And on the right-hand side, you get x cubed from here. If you cube 4i, you will get 64i cubed. And i cubed, by the way, is negative i, so you can just r replace it with negative 64i. And if you replace... Uh, y with negative 2i, we're basically talking about negative 64i divided by y, which is, in this case, negative 2i, and that should give you a 32. And as you know, 8 plus 24 is 30, so that, that satisfies our equation, which is pretty good, right? Well, it should, because we didn't really square both sides or something. Okay, let's go ahead and write our solution set to conclude the video here. Let's go ahead and write them down. So I got 4 comma 2 and 4, negative 4, comma, negative 2. Notice that here x and y are both positive or both negative. With the complex, non-real solutions, it's a little different story. We got negative 4i with 2i and 4i with negative 2i. And that is basically all the solutions we can come up with. All right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tomorrow I'll see you with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.